Today we're going to be working on some odds and ends, and we're starting by taking care of all of these edges. Sorry for taking so long for this part. It's been quite cold here, and the shop I work out of has been reorganized, so this video is going to have parts before and during the reconfiguration. Let's get on with the planing. Here I'm just using a hand plane to shave this plywood down to meet the frame. I want to get this as close as possible so that the seam is clean. There's really nothing to it, you just drag the plane across the wood and shave parts of it off until you get to the desired height. Planing is something that removes a lot more material than you would think. I used to think that this process was kind of slow, but as I've done it more in woodworking, I've found out that this is one of the best ways to reduce the height of material or flatten it out when you're trying to work with it. This frame needs some planing itself, and this is a little harder since it's a weird angle. I actually kept catching the plane on the side of the boat, but I was able to get this side of the frame really close without too much effort. You can see that the material removal here is just crazy. Next, we're going to cut the rear deck out of this old piece of plywood I used as a makeshift table saw for a while. It's not the cleanest wood, but I am okay with filling some holes and having to sand off the stained top side, since it will be painted anyway. Here you can see me just marking it out with a sharpie. Pretty simple, I just have the wood sitting on the boat, and I run around it with this big fat sharpie so I know where to cut it with the circular saw. I laid it on two 2x4 boards so that I could cut it with my circular saw. This plywood is a lot thicker than the rest of the hole. So I'm using the circular saw instead of the jigsaw to cut it out. As you can see, the fit is pretty decent after all the planing that I've done. Next, I'm going to cut the front deck. This piece is actually from a kayak project I had. I wasn't happy with the boat, so it got scrapped for other projects. So this piece has a layer of black paint I will have to remove. I cut it the same way, and it fits nicely as well. And now we're going to put the boat on the ground, because I have to figure out where the mast is going to go. I believe I estimated that the mast should be about 3 inches from the 4 frame, 
So I just used a square to mark out an area around there that would eventually have the mast rest glued in. The mast rest will be made of a small piece of plywood and some scraps cut from other boards to form a little pocket where the mast will rest without punching through the bottom of the hole. Next, I'm going to drill the hole for the mast in the fore deck. I start by just marking it out, and then I will drill through it with a one and a half inch hole saw, and then I'll square it off with the jigsaw and make the final adjustments once the deck is glued on and the final mast position is known. Now I'm cutting some pieces of wood that will become the pocket for the mast. This isn't going to be pretty since I won't ever see it again, so I'm just chopping some pieces up and making sure they fit. And now we do the glue up. I just put a bead of glue around and positioned everything in place with a small cut off of the mast. Then I clamped everything and put it in a safe place so that it can dry. Now on to the dagger board trunk. This is an important piece of the build, so I wanted to make sure I had this right. The trunk is definitely a lot of work, and in my opinion, the hardest part of this build. If you aren't making your mouse boat into a sailboat, you can completely skip this and anything mast related, since you can just paddle around like a canoe instead. I measured out rough dimensions for the daggerboard trunk, which I knew would be a tighter fit than the wood I had picked out, and determined how tall the trunk would be, since it should be deck height. I then marked and cut some pieces to form the daggerboard trunk with out of an old piano top from an upright piano that I scrapped years ago. Since this is my personal boat, I'm doing this cheaply, and scrap materials are definitely useful whenever you can get them. After getting those pieces ready, and the mast box has dried, I remove the clamps from it and test fit it before setting it aside and gluing up the daggerboard trunk.
It doesn't have to be its final size when I glue it up, because I know it will take a lot of work to get it into the right place and the right shape. I put some boards between the trunk sides to make sure that the gap is correct, and then I drill for some holes in the daggerboard trunk so that I can assemble it with screws. I do this so that I can dry fit the trunk components and make sure I'm comfortable with how they fit, and then it's time for glue. Gluing up the daggerboard trunk is pretty simple. Since I screwed it together dry, I just have to clamp the sides, disassemble the trunk, and apply glue, and then reassemble. After that, we let it dry. Thanks for checking out this episode, and I'm sorry it's been so long between part 2 and 3. The fourth part should be a more standard length, and will involve getting the mast pocket, daggerboard trunk, and decks fit into place. If you enjoy this series, feel free to drop a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And if you don't want to miss my episodes, since I don't have a schedule for releases, click the bell and it'll let you know when the next part goes up.